Hey everybody, Johan Magnusson here, Big Sweet Barbecue, and today we're here to cook some ribs on the Daniel Boone. Uh, there are many different ways to cook ribs to get to that end result. Some people do the 3-2-1 method at 225, three hours uncovered, two hours wrapped, and then one, a one hour sauce. Some people prefer to cook it throughout unwrapped. Uh, this is my version of how I like to do it. And we're gonna go pretty hot. We're gonna have the smoker set at 325. We have apple pellets in there. And we will be done in about two hours, maybe two hours and 15 minutes. Uh, we're gonna do two kinds of uh, ribs today. We're gonna do regular spares that I have trimmed down to a St. Louis cut. And then we're gonna cook some baby backs at the same time. Gonna talk a little bit about, about the difference between baby backs and spares and how they cook slightly different. So uh, let's get started. We have two different cuts here. We got the spare ribs and we have the back ribs or the baby back ribs. And they actually come from two different uh, parts of the pig. The, uh, the regular spares that I have trimmed down to St. Louis cut here comes from the belly section of the pig. So they're a little bit longer. They're uh, a whole lot of fattier, which means that they've got a lot of they're really packed with flavors. The baby back, it's, they're not called baby backs because they come from small pigs. They're baby backs because there's, they're just a little bit of smaller ribs. They come from the, the part of the rib that connects to the spine. Uh, this one, normally the baby backs are a little bit smaller, but as you can see here, they're pretty much the same size. When you cook baby backs, they cook a little bit of uh, they cook faster. They're slightly leaner, so they don't have as much flavor, but a lot of times because they're smaller, they cook faster. I would say about 30 to 40 percent faster than spares. Uh, because this one has really good size compared to this one, I'm going to cook them about the same time uh, today. One thing that I did before coming out here today was, of course, to uh, prep the ribs. So what I did was that I trimmed off all the extra fat. I sort of squared off the ribs so they they look uniform in size. Uh, took off the membrane on the back end of the, the ribs to because uh, you don't want that in there. It just made them look good. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to do that because there's plenty of other videos on YouTube telling you and showing you how to trim ribs. This is more about my version of how I cook my spares and my baby bags. We're going to use two different rubs today. We're going to use Victory Lane or nowadays Heath Riles, his Sassy Apple Barbecue Rub. Uh, he's got a great one also, the Cherry Rub, that gives probably the best uh, color on the spares that I have seen. And then we're going to use the Badass Beef Boost from Big Sweet Barbecue. Seems uh, a little bit counterintuitive to use a beef rub on spares or on ribs. However, this one uh, this year placed fourth in the American Royal, fourth best uh, rub on the planet, and they cooked it on pork, so who would have thought? So we're gonna put some layers here. We're gonna start with a sassy apple barbecue rub and just give it a good little sprinkle throughout. So a nice, some people like to put some olive oil and some, uh, maybe some mustard to make the rub stick a little bit better. <sighs> I don't like to do that. Uh, this works just fine. So give it a nice little dusting. You don't want to cover it completely and then just pat it in lightly. Don't push it in too hard. Turn it over and then give it another sprinkle on the back end. And here, this is where you can go with whatever flavor combination you like. That's the cool thing about ribs. You can try, I like to layer one, and I often use Heath Riles rubs because they give really good color. So that would be my coloring rub. And then I like the Badass Beef Boost because it gives it a little bit of sweetness due to the cane sugar in it, but it also, it has a little bit of heat at the end, so it gives it a good kick too, because I like my ribs sweet with a little bit of heat at the end. Then we pack that in, 
And now you want to make sure that you let this sit for a while to really allow those spices to penetrate. I think we can actually give it a little extra layer on top. So what you want to do is that you want to let this sit and rest now for about 20 minutes to really let those spices and the rub penetrate into the meat. So it's been about 20 minutes. Uh, the Daniel Boone has been cranking at 500. I just dropped it to 325. As you can see, I have the elevated rack in and you wanna make sure that you have that so you get good airflow all around the ribs. And uh, speaking of the ribs, they've been sitting now for 20 minutes. They're sweating, they got a beautiful red color. Uh, you could tell that the rub has really penetrated into the meat and they're ready to go in the smoker. Uh, we're gonna smoke them at 325 for about an hour. I don't really cook to time. I look for two other things. Number one, before I wrap, I want them to have a good red mahogany color. So color is one criteria, and the other one has the rub set. Do we have a nice uh, uh, bark on the rib? And the way to look at that is you do a scratch test, and if the rub comes off easily, it needs a little bit more time. But approximately, I would say an hour, and they should be good. So let's put them in. Here, let's put in the spare. And then we got the baby back. And then let's close this and uh, check it in perhaps 40, 45 minutes. And then uh, hopefully we'll uh, know if they're ready or not. So it's been an hour uh, and it's time to check on the ribs. And I like they have a nice red color. You can see that the bark has set. So I think it's time to uh, start wrapping them, so let's take them out. So the ribs has been in the smoker for about an hour. They got a beautiful mahogany color. You can see that the rub is set, so it's time to wrap them. And uh, when I wrap the ribs, I like to put them with a little bit of brown sugar, some butter, I'm gonna use parquet, and then some, some liquid. And I, sometimes I use pineapple juice. Uh, today I'm going with uh, peach, uh, because we're gonna have some peach juice with it, and then we're gonna match that with a little bit of peach in the sauce when we finally sauce it as well. So this is how we uh, wrap it. Okay, so it's time to wrap it. So what we do is we take a little bit of brown sugar and put at the bottom. like that. Then we throw some uh, parquet on there. And then the rib. And of course, some more brown sugar on top. And you don't have to hold back with this. There we go. And then of course, more butter on top. There we go. Then the last thing I like to do is take a little bit of that peach nectar and pour that on there as well to keep it moist as it cooks. There we go. That's beautiful. And then basically we pack this really tight together, roll it up, make sure that you pack it really tight and I like to uh, double wrap it just to be on the safe side so it doesn't break. There you go, and that should be enough. And then we'll put that back in the smoker again. And let's do the same thing with the baby back. So we have now prepped both the spare rib and the baby back rib. So it's time to put them back in the smoker and we're gonna keep them in the smoker now for about 45 minutes and then check on them. And uh, we'll be back in 45 minutes. So the ribs has now been in the smoker wrapped for about 40, 45 minutes. And it's time to take them out and check if they're ready.
The way that I like to see if they're ready or not is that I open up this one. Uh, got good color. And then I want to just see if it should almost be like hot butter, no resistance at all. Uh, and this actually is good. So we want to leave that in and just let it steam off before we sauce it and get ready to uh, put it back in again. Let's check this one too. Yeah, goes in very easily. So let's have that sit there for a while and uh, just steam off and then we're gonna sauce it. Okay, the next thing that we wanna do after they've been wrapped, you can see that the bones are pulling back. They got a nice color is to uh, sauce them. And I use a combination of uh, the Cosmos Q peach jalapeno rib glaze. I like that. And then I found this uh, in uh, Europe, Stokes Original uh, Barbecue. Uh, a lot of good molasses in it. So I like a combination 50-50. And really what you, the only thing you want to do here is, is start on the back end, put a nice little coating on it. Don't hold back. And uh, you can put quite a lot on here. Just make sure that it's covered. Got a good, look at that shine. It's coming through. That looks great. Beautiful, beautiful color. And then we flip them over and we do the same thing on the top side. And you can go pretty, quite a lot here. Don't hold back, like I said. Put a thick layer of it. Uh, and then we're going to put it back in the smoker again for about, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes just to make this set. And then we have one final step, which is a, a finishing touch to them. And then we're ready to cut them and serve them. So uh, let's put some extra effort in here. There you go. Beautiful shine. Look at those thick, meaty. Yeah, they look good. Okay, done. Back in the smoker for about 15, 20 minutes to let this set and then let's do the finishing touch. So the last step we have in the process is you can see now that the sauce has set. It's got a beautiful glaze just to add a little bit more of sweetness to it. So what I like to do as a finishing touch is just take a little bit of organic agave and pour that on top like that and just let it slowly melt off it just gives it a nice sweetness so that's how you do big sweet barbecue ribs so what did we do we put a couple of layers of rubs on it put into the smoker at 325 after about an hour or when you get good color or the rub sets we wrapped it with brown sugar uh, butter or parquet and some peach nectar then we put it back again for another 45 minutes, took it out, let it rest for a couple of minutes, and then uh, we sauced it. Used a combo of a, of a regular sauce and a, sort of a rib glaze, put it back again for about 15 minutes, and then we took it out, poured some agave nectar and some uh, coconut sugar on top of it, and they should be ready to uh, eat. They got a beautiful color, uh, perfectly cooked, Mmm, hot, good bite mark. Man, these are good. Sweet, a lot of sweet, and a little bit of heat at the end too, but man, they're good. Maybe need to rest a little bit longer because damn, that was hot. So that's how we do the ribs. Stay tuned for uh, more videos 